okay we'll just keep on mixing it we'll have to add another dye because we're not getting the color that we want we want black so we'll just keep on mixing till we get our desired color don't be deceived <coughs> don't be deceived by the gray color you know when you keep on mixing you know the proper color you see the proper color rather so all right let's just keep on doing this okay by the way in case you want to try this out for other colors you just have to dilute uh just dissolve the coloring as i showed the coloring i showed you in the first video dissolve it in water before you apply it before you uh put it inside uh the put it inside the stiffener and stiffener and this the mixture the stiffener and the top bone mixture so we'll see how glossy it looks all right let's keep on mixing it let's keep on mixing it yeah you can see the black color now uh i think we need more dye so we have to put a little bit that so let's keep on mixing it Getting our black color, yeah, that's, that's our edge coat. You could do this for other colors, every other color. So far as you have the dye, like the dye powder form. Okay, so see how it looks like. It's not supposed to be too thick like your paste, just in between. It's not also supposed to be too watery. The consistency should just be normal. So you could use your paste as a guideline to knowing when uh how thick it is all right so i don't know we just have to uh apply it on a leather we we'll have to sand our leather use some paper on a leather if it was not straight but in this case uh, my leather is straight so i'll just go on to apply it using my mascara wand yeah so you use your mascara wand and apply it carefully just follow the procedure Just follow the procedure and apply it carefully. You can apply this for four times, five times, you know, depending on how you want it. But you know, most of these bags you need to apply like up to four times that the coating will come out well. This first time will not give you what you want, so just keep on applying it. This is my face coat. So. Do well to get a container to store your edge coat if you make if you make them in large quantity so that they won't you know get hard they won't stick get sticky okay this is coming out well see the usefulness of glow so that you don't get to stain your hand and the leather you're working with so okay have my face coating and I'm trying to do this I want to do the second one I'll do the second one and I'll also do the third one because I am not satisfied what I have here so I have to clean up some stains clean up any stain that has been on the leather using your wipes on both sides layer gently on the first layer you we want to build a layer consistency so that it comes out forming uh, a bulge kind of on the edge of the leather it gives this aesthetic yeah, look it makes it look foreign you know <laughs> so that's how we're gonna do it and there's a little stain there so sorry Third coating. Do my third coating now gently. See, we are, we are beginning to have what we want. So that is that. That 
Disney Stats. Alright. We allow this to dry for like 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like in my other video. 